Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have returned for another custom spotlight after quite a long time. <laughs> now, we've taken a look at many good characters on this channel and some that are less good. But today, I say we'd take a look at someone dastardly, someone devious, <laughs> a diesel of sorts, but not just any diesel. Today, we will be looking at the one and only Sonic the Steam Engine, Dr. Robotnik. Now, for Dr. Robotnik, it's quite simple, really. His base, as can be seen, is that of a diesel of mine reddits. Now, originally, it was only just going to be a diesel with edits, no claw. Now, I bet that can be really terrifying going up against the likes of Sonic. Luckily, however, we avoided such a timeline where that Robotnik would exist. For we gave him a claw like Diesel 10 to make him more... threatening. <laughs> now as for his details, Robotnik was actually made alongside Sonic back in the day, as most characters were made after the duo, meaning Robotnik had the same level of effort put into him that Sonic did. Now the red on his running board, that is a reference to the take-along Diesel, as for some reason he was given a red running board, so since Robotnik is a mainly red character, we gave him a red running board. Now I can hear people asking, why isn't he red? I'm pretty sure he was always meant to be black, but but people have asked if we can make Robotnik red. Now to answer that, no, he will be staying in his black livery, but may this change? Maybe, who knows. But for those wanting a red Robotnik, stay tuned for future installments on these custom spotlights. Back to our Robotnik, he's got three yellow lines symbolizing all the symbolizing the different yellow parts on him, like the classics red cape and the moderns buttons. He's also got symbols representing the Eggman army. Honestly, I'm not sure where these are from. I think they might be from forces. I'm not too sure. He's also got painted side rods to make him feel more different from Diesel, and different handrails. Of course, painted buffers. Then again, I actually don't remember if the no, Diesel didn't come with painted buffers. These I think this is an old Diesel. And at the top, of course, we have the claw, just taken straight off of the Rebecca pack, with the middle arm being painted gray. And alongside this Robotnik, we made him a little wagon. Now for those keen viewers, you'll realize this is based on the capsules from the old Sonic games, where at the end of the level you'd break them open and free all the flickies. This van's painted in a gray, with yellow linings at the top to represent the button, and hazard stripes on the sides, as well as a Robotnik Empire logo. Now. Is this just a random car, or will this have actual significance? You'll have to wait and find out. Well, I guess that's it for Robot- Wait a minute. This isn't right. This isn't our Robotnik! Okay, where's the real one? Out of the way, you hunk of junk! Make way for the real Robotnik. Ah, there we are. The new and improved Robotnik 2.0. Now I bet you're wondering, wait, when did Robotnik get updated? For those who remember, during the initial stages of the trailer, this was our Robotnik, except that claw wasn't there. When the movie began production, it was decided that all engines should be updated to a more manageable style due to motorizes, uncooperative gears, making it harder to free roll. Robotnik was one of the many characters updated to this style, 
who are the others? Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll see them one day. As such, he was given a new base. A Trackmaster Tomy Diesel. Now this is the claw everyone remembers. As this is made from the same claw part as the Rebecca claw, except this time it's cut, held together with a paper clip, with some Lego tubing, as well as another part from the claw. I believe that I tried to get more of this claw in here, but at the end this was the only part that I could manage. And I and if I remember correctly, transferring the claw actually resulted in it breaking, so this is actually a new claw. It was either that or it broke during filming. I don't really remember. But yes, the claw does have full range of movement. You can make it stay, open, you move it to all sides of him. And it's a very fun piece to mess with. Now everything for this Robotnik is pretty much the same for this one. All the details are here, except newly updated. The logos have seen a little bit better days, but then again, what hasn't? For those wondering, the claw is has been drilled in and super glued. And of course, we've got the wonderful faces for Robotnik. And then the other Sonic characters, like Snively and Sonic. Of course, made by Ben11 GWR. <laughs> the, the creator of Sonic himself. Sonic Steam Engine, not Sonic the Hedgehog. Now there's one last little piece to Robotnik that's a little bit more of an accessory, not really a engine or rolling stock. He has a little piece of coal, which, fun fact, has been made to fit in the hand of a Lego minifigure. Now what could this be for, I wonder? I think you'll have to stay tuned. I think you'll have to stay tuned for the Sonic the Steam Engine movie to find out the purpose of this. <laughs> <laughs> I know Robotnik is probably the most simplistic out of all the Sonic characters, being just partially repainted Diesel, However, it is fun to show off his evolution, and what can be, and all the cool things he can do. I know a lot of you are going to be excited to see him up and running in the movie. However, I think it'd be a little waste to wait that long to see Robotnik in action again. And Sonic for that matter. Now if only there was a way to get new Sonic content without waiting for the movie. Hmm. I wonder...